This is the last video for this pace and for this entire Algebra 2 course. We did it! Just for history's sake, I will tell you that as I'm recording this, we are in the great coronavirus, China virus pandemic of 2020. We are hoping that soon the uh, well, the social distancing requirements but we will be relaxed but I keep a mask with me here that my daughter made so that in case somebody comes in I can put the mask on but I don't like that as I'm talking a it's hard to hear B it fogs up my glasses and it pulls my ear down and then it falls off <clears throat> but when I do go out in public I uh, carry my mask with me and maybe in uh, wherever you live, whatever country you're in, maybe you had to do that. Do you remember? Maybe it's maybe some of you are doing that now. You're as I'm recording this and uploading it, you might be living through this. Um, years from now, others may look back and say, "Wow, yeah, that was history. You lived through that." Or you might remember having been a younger student living through it. Uh, but anyways, that's the little history about recording this in. April of 2020. In a few days, it's going to be May 1st. <laughs> All right, here we are, page 23. And again, this is a review. You did this in Algebra, maybe Algebra 1, definitely you did it earlier in Algebra 2, I remember. And that's taking three equations that have x, y, and z, and you are having to solve them to get um, an x value, a y value and a z value. Now, it's a complicated process, okay? You remember doing this before. You remember it was not necessarily easy, and sometimes you get fractions. That's not fun. So it continues. That one problem continues all the way to the top of page 24. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all of that, okay? If you need to go back and find a video, I forget which one it is, but you did this earlier. And now you have four problems to do. You obviously do not have room on your page to do those, but you can do it on separate paper, and then you're going to transfer, and you're going to have three numbers, maybe fractions even, but the x value, the y value, the z value. And we typically put that in parentheses. It represents an ordered triplet, it's called. All right, I'm going to assume you know how to do that. Go for it. Now let's talk about the last concept. And this is how we apply three by three determinants from matrices to solving when we have three equations. So the first thing I want you to notice up here at the very top, <clears throat> and maybe I'll get closer because I'm not gonna write all this on the board, but do you notice we have A1X plus B1Y plus C1Z equals D1, okay? So the coefficients on X, Y, and Z are the A1, B1, C1. Second equation is A2, B2, C2, D2, etc. Then they have these, um, we just, I'm not gonna memorize them, write them down, okay? Use them as reference while you're doing your homework. Use it on the checkup, self-test, pace test. You do not need to memorize this. You should have this information written down. So to find X, we plug the, thing, the numbers in from up here following this template, okay? Notice all of these are three by three matrices which we can solve now to get the determinants and we did that back here expand these determinants by using the minors so we're going to use this very same process that you did for these five problems <clears throat> but now you're going to do it to find the numerator on x and the denominator on x the numerator on y the denominator on y the numerator on z the denominator on z so you're going to do more work to do one problem than you did in solving all of these back here on page 22. Then they do an example. I'm, there's so many numbers here, <clears throat> I, you have to study it, okay? You have to look at it in the page to understand this. Here's the three equations. Here's the template. So we can from there see what 
A1 is, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. It's coming right from these coefficients, okay? Using that information and following these templates, they create, for here, for X, they create this um, three by three, and this three by three down below, and then we follow the procedure for solving the determinant for a three by three matrix. Here's all the math, okay? I show all the numbers, and you get all the way down, and the answer is one. <laughs> Mr. Anger, that seems like an awful lot of work. The other method was easier. Remember what I said? This whole thing is they're trying to help computers, okay, to figure out that there is a particular formula that can be followed to get the right answer no matter what the coefficients are. There's no thinking involved. It's just follow a formula. And that's the beauty of these matrices is it's all just formulas, and computers can do formulas fast. But we're just trying to get you as a student kind of thinking how a computer works and uh, how just following a template, following a formula will give you the answer every time. All right, go to page 26. They do the same thing for Y, okay? So we have this three by three matrix on the top. Notice the denominator is the same as what we had for for X, same thing for Z, we have the same denominator. So we don't really have to resolve it when we get to Y and Z, we just have to do the numerator. All right, so it tells us that Y ends up being negative one, Z ends up being two, and so then you write the answer as one, negative one, two, an ordered triplet. You are done with Algebra 2. All right, let's add some sunshine around it here. Celebrate. And should we add some confetti? Looks like fireworks. We just, for some reason, somebody was firing fireworks in our neighborhood the other day here. I had some green confetti. You did it! Or should I say, we did it. You made it to the end. You are ready, okay? After you finish these few problems, score it. And then you have the checkup, final checkup, self-test, pace test. And you don't have to do any more math until next year. And I'm not sure what you're gonna do next year. Um, the next math in the paces is, Trig or not? No. Is it trig? Anyways, it's only six paces long, okay? So it's not even 12 paces, it's only six paces. Um, I might recommend that uh, instead of doing that, maybe you get a good, like business math. Actually, the paces have a very good business math course and work through that. It's a lot of practical things about personal finances and I think you'll enjoy it a lot more. It'll prepare you for life uh, much more than the six um, trigonometry advanced math paces will. But um, if you're required to do the trig, go for it. And uh, I hope you have a great summer and continue doing well with math.